Saturday morning at 8 o'clock and uh, just lit the fire. We're going to have a, a good day of uh, cooking some meat and baking some bread and uh, should have the oven hot for the week. So there's lots of smoke coming at the vent there that'll disappear, but uh, it's a nice little fire started. And uh, I've also got a new addition here. I haven't got them quite put in yet, but my uh, friend gave me, uh, made these doors for me. And they're uh, cedar doors in a frame that fits into the bottom of the Pompeii oven. So uh, I'm gonna finish those today and get the rest of the hardware, but uh, nice design and uh, looking forward to getting that integrated and getting the rest of the, the, uh, the oven done. See how the day goes. So the fire's coming along quite well. A, little, a few minutes later and we've got some uh, nice clear, nice bright flame and uh, not too much smoke. Temperature there is uh, oh, about 275. Uh, it's really just starting to warm up. And if you think about it, there's a lot of, a lot of thermal mass in this oven that has to, a lot of mass in this oven that has to, uh, has to heat up. It, uh, the bricks on the floor are, uh, are not stacked this way. This is just the little landing I have here. They're actually stacked, if I can do it, this way. Uh, so if you think about the depth of that floor under those, under that wood, um, there's quite a bit to heat that brick right to the bottom, which is where you really want it for uh, for nice, uh, nice bread baking and to have your oven hot for the next, you know, three or four days, it'd be great. So we'll slowly build up the fire and uh, build up the volume of the fire so that uh, the heat can uh, get into the bricks and into the walls and uh, we'll have a decent oven. It's uh, about 8.30 in the morning right now and um, we plan to bake bread at about 2. So uh, most of that time we'll be getting the oven up, nice even steady fire and then we'll clean the uh, clean the logs out and the ash out and we'll let it cool to 500 degrees and then we'll uh, hopefully be there by two o'clock. Back at the oven again and uh, as you can see I've put in a few bigger junks. Uh, the uh, the wood is burning well, that's birch there and uh, I usually start with a bit of a soft wood and a bit of birch as well. Uh, we're up to about uh, 500 or so degrees. Uh, the wood is burning nicely as you can see there's no more smoke just sort of uh, heat coming out of the chimney there and uh, I'm gonna put in some maple now. I usually switch to maple afterwards. Those are really the only two uh, sort of harder woods that I can get here and um, anyway, I've got some nice dry maple lined up to put in and I think that'll give the temperature another boost. And I think so the wood I put in has had a chance to uh, catch on fire and burn down a little bit. We had a beautiful heat going there. Our, uh, thermometer gauge is about to its limit at uh, five or six hundred degrees I at the front of the dome. As you can see the top of the dome is white and uh, we've really got a nice heat coming. It's hard to hold the phone out this far. Um, so I know that I'm going to have a successful uh, successful fire and uh, we'll see how it goes. And the fire is uh, Great Dane approved. Well two Great Danes approved. They're pretty curious about the whole uh, the whole pizza oven thing. Mostly the pizza. Well, it's a little later in the morning. It's about 12, about noon. And uh, as you can see, the fire's doing really well. Um, the dome of the oven is very white, and uh, as is the brick on the inside arch. Um, just a note for anybody who's following the build of the other uh, Pompeii that I'm doing. You'll note that there's a heat break between the arch and the uh, outside arch. And you can see the effectiveness of it there, I think. The, the inside arch is white with the heat and all the carbon's gone off, whereas the outside arch is still uh, still kind of dark. So definitely a lower temperature. And if I take a shot at that, we'll see what happens. 493, 425, 700 degrees. 800 degrees so quite a big difference anyway we're going to let that up spread out the fire and i'm going to let that burn out a bit and then i'm going to take it out because i want to bake bread in a couple of hours so i don't want it too hot um, again great dane approved they're pretty happy today because they got a couple of bones to chew on there 
All right, we'll uh, update you at the next stage. I've got the uh, iron frying pan in there heating up, and uh, since the chicken is not for several hours yet, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some, a uh, couple of small steaks I'm gonna put on there, and uh, a few sausages. It's nothing like this sound. Isn't that nice? This is the part that really gets the dogs interested. They like the smell, and they're very excited about this whole thing. And then I'm gonna push those in there and let them sear nicely. Or shouldn't take too long. So we don't wanna cook the uh, steak too much there. I think we're gonna take those out and plate them. Okay. Let that sit a little bit. Put the sausages back in. Chicken is nicely done. It's uh, the tomatoes are brown and caramelized a little bit, and the chicken is is cooked. So that turned out pretty good. And now I have to take the uh, ashes out. So I've removed most of the uh, ashes from the oven. I'm still going to clean out a little bit, and I put them. I have a little barbecue there that I put them in. And that seems to help. Um, I use my peel. It's an old peel that I have, not my main peel. And I just scooped them out and put them in the barbecue and then wash it down with a, a rag that I have attached to a stick. Here we have an oven all cleaned out. Um, the floor is nice and clean and the dome is still pretty hot. Uh, we're a little high for bread. We're probably about 600 degrees, but uh, I've got the door open. I'm going to let it cool for a little bit and then we're going to put our bread in. Um, hopefully it turns out okay, but uh, it's looking good now. It's all ready. in the oven and looking good we're gonna shut the door and check in 20 minutes or so 